Um, this question is quite explicitly about uh, looking stuff up. <laughs> so it says uh, Appendix J lists the 20 stars that appear brightest from Earth. Um, yeah, so okay, let me open it up and see. Um, so brightest 20 stars. And I think it took me a little while of looking at this to realize this. Um, okay. Um, <laughs> just to shift to my browser to uh, mobile mode <laughs> that gets rid of the sidebars. Um, it took me a while of looking at this table to realize it. And I'm pretty sure it lists the stars from the um, most apparent brightness to the least apparent brightness. But I don't think they ever tell you that that's how they ordered it. Um, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, so, OK, I have the table there. It's asking, okay, of these 20 stars, which two stars are put the most amount of light? That's your way of phrasing, of asking you, which two stars have the greatest luminosity? So I'm looking at this column here, luminosity, where the luminosity is given as a unit of our own sun's luminosity. So I just scan it through. Okay, these are five digit numbers. Okay, this is fairly large five digit number. Uh, ah, so I see this, Rigel, and this, Deneb. So it should be Rigel and Deneb. And uh, let me just, uh, um, so it's not quite tolerant of all typos. Like if you type this in, then it won't accept it as correct. But it is tolerant of um, like extra spaces or capitalization. It should uh, um, allow something like this to be graded as correct. Let me just, I'll just put that into visual. Of these 20 stars, which three stars are closest to Earth? So closest, I guess it must mean distance. I think there was a distance column, yeah, distance light years. So let me look through here. Okay, good. Less than 10 number, less than 10. So these two are small so far. Um, Okay, there's nothing else that's less than 10. Let me go back here. Um, everything is more than 20 except this one. It's 11.46. And less than 20, but greater than 11.46. Okay, so I think it is those uh, four stars. Sirius, Regal Cantarus, um, or Alpha Centauri. I think that's the one I'm more familiar with. Uh, and Proxia, okay. Uh, Sirius, uh, Visual Cantarus, and I'm deliberately typing things in a way that I normally wouldn't to show that it ignores those weird things. Um, or And for me to test, actually, I want to make sure it actually does that. Okay, so having those answered those two questions by looking up this uh, appendix, this is um, asking me more general question. In answering above questions, you might have noticed a lack of a close relationship between brightness of stars and their luminosity and distance from us. Um, the, I think there's some, wait, is there even? Yeah, there's not even any overlap between these two because these two stars are pretty far away. And yeah, so anyways, um, the brightest stars are not necessarily the most luminous stars. The brightest stars are not necessarily the closest stars. Uh, choose all statements below that correctly describe the relationship between apparent brightness, luminosity, and distance to stars. And there is a hint, and um, I guess there is not direct link, but as an, oh wait, I already had that open. As an indirect link, what this uh, leads to you to is what we covered in chapter five. And some are here, yeah, to pin this down, this idea more precisely, recall from this, uh, which was chapter five, our module two material, and specifically under behavior of light, uh, we talked about how light follows an inverse square law uh, in propagation that the intensity uh, or the concentration of light falls as uh, propor inversely proportional to square of the distance. So that's an important thing for you to remember as you answer this question where, yeah, so 
<laughs> Some of these are confusingly worthy, so let me try to read it through carefully. If two stars are at the same distance from Earth and one star appears twice as bright, this means no, this uh, means the twice as bright star is twice as more luminous. It's a square of distance, not other things. So not this, it's not correct. If two stars have the same apparent brightness, but one star is twice as far away, this means the star that is twice as far away is four times more luminous. Yeah, so if they had been at the same distance, then the star that, that brighter star would have appeared four times as bright. And so when it's twice as far away, then that uh, compensates if, so those two things cancel each other out, so can so they can appear with about the same apparent brightness. So, okay, um, light intensity follows an inverse of square law, meaning uh, I wrote this to confuse people deliberately. So gravity is an inverse of square law, but the inverse of square that we are talking about there is just completely different from the inverse of square law for light propagation. So don't confuse those two the gravitational force and appearing bright has nothing to do with each other, other than the same dependence on the distance itself. Light intensity follows an inverse of square law. If the two stars have the same luminosity as in same light output, but one star is twice as far away, then star that is twice as far away appear four times less bright. The apparent brightnesses of stars in the night sky are proportional to, yeah so this i just wrote it mathematically more mathematical doesn't mean necessarily more correct it's just nonsense um so wait what huh that is interesting didn't agree that it's correct i i don't know what it is it's possible this lack of space is um um is tripping it up Okay, um, so I guess the space within the choices are meaningful. So you can't just get rid of all the spaces. The <laughs> spaces that are around the commas are fine. The system will deal with that, but this particular space was meaningful. Let me see if I made it two spaces if it will grade it as incorrect again. No, I, I guess it's just meaningful that there is space there. Hmm. Something I something new I learned. I, I thought the system would just ignore all the spaces. <laughs>